Hello everyone. So we had a little issue this week. Some viewers shared their complaint with us about how confusing they are about what is going on in the broke boyfriend. So we decided to make this special recap. So we believe this confusion may have resulted from viewers watching both The Broke Boyfriend and Bad Marriage. Bad Marriage is actually a spin-off of The Broke Boyfriend, but they are separate series. Maybe I should start by saying why both series happens to get entangled a lot. They are actually separate series. If you follow each series separately, you happen to see that. We tried to show the difference, which is why you can see that The Broke Boyfriend is actually a month ahead of Bad Marriage. This is the same reason why Jumoke's pregnancy is showing in The Broke Boyfriend, but not showing in Bad Marriage. It's because while in Bad Marriage, she was just two months pregnant, in The Broke Boyfriend, she was actually three months pregnant, a one month difference. I will try to run through this recap as fast as I can. Okay, after last season, Jumoke insisted on getting married, so Vranka left the church sad. Fortunately, he was followed by Naret, who liked him and liked what he did and asked him out on a date. He went home still broken hearted, stayed heartbroken indoors for a month. And when he finally went out, he went straight back to Jumoke's place to try to win her back. That was where he discovered she was pregnant and unfortunately for him, she didn't want to leave. He was then confronted by Emeka and then he had to leave. He went back home hungry and met with John, told him everything. That was when John revealed to him that the baby might be his. So he decided to step up and get a job. Well, his former job back, so he can cater for his kid. Unfortunately, the boss still wanted to resume their past arrangement. That is, she still wants him to be with her. Knowing that he has lost Jumoke, he tried to set up a date with Naret. They agreed on a day. Vrenka still needed confirmation that the kid was his, so he decided to go back to Jumoke's house. Unfortunately, the guard had been instructed not to allow him in, so he left. Now it was the day for the date. Vrenka left for the restaurant they were supposed to meet with Naret at. While he was waiting for Naret at the restaurant, Jumoke, who had run from her husband's house to her dad's house due to domestic violence, came to visit Vrenkat to tell him something, but he was not around and John was not ready to tell her where he went to. So she decided to leave. But as she was about to leave, John asked her if the baby was for Vrenkat. Yes. Thank you all for watching. I hope this answers all your questions. If it doesn't, please comment below with your questions and I promise I will answer them. We are still looking into further ways to prevent these ambiguities. We are still in discussion which of the series to drop for now. But before then, please enjoy the next episode. Thank you.